Numerical integration. Today we will solve examples based on the Gaussian quadrature formula. First of all, we'll see the formulas and then we'll solve an example. So the one point Gaussian quadrature formula is integration of f of x dx from minus 1 to 1 is equal to 2 into f of 0. Again, I'll repeat integration of f of x dx from minus 1 to 1 is equal to 2 into f of 0. The two point Gaussian quadrature formula is integration from minus 1 to 1 f of x dx is equal to f of minus 1 by root 3 plus f of 1 by root 3. How we will find this will be clear to you when we solve an example. So the formula for the two point Gaussian quadrature is f of x dx integration from minus 1 to 1 is equal to f of minus 1 by root 3 plus f of 1 by root 3. The three point Gaussian quadrature formula is integration of f of x dx from minus 1 to 1 is equal to 5 by 9 into f of minus root 3 by 5 plus 8 by 9 into f of 0 plus 5 by 9 into f of root 3 by 5. In the first term it is 5 by 9 f of minus root 3 by 5 and the third term it is 5 by 9 f of root 3 by 5. So you will have to remember all of these three formulas. One thing you would have observed is the integration is from minus 1 to 1. So whenever we are solving the examples based on the Gaussian quadrature rule, it is necessary that the integration should be from minus 1 to 1. Okay, so now let's just solve this example. Evaluate by one point and two point Gaussian quadrature formula. Now you can see here that the integration is from 0 to 1. So firstly, we'll have to change this. For that, as it is dt upon 1 plus t, we'll use t is equal to and create an equation in the form of x. So it will be b minus a by 2 into x plus b plus a by 2. Here a is 0 and b is 1. So it will be 1 minus 0 by 2 into x plus 1 plus 0 by 2. So t will be equal to 0.5x plus 0.5. Now we will perform derivation with respect to x because in the question we are having dt. So we need some replacement for dt also. So dt upon dx is equal to 0.5x plus 0.5. Now the derivation of 0.5x will be 0.5 that is 1 by 2 and the derivation of 0.5 will be 0. So it will be dt is equal to 1 by 2 into dx. 
Now we'll just place those values of t that are given in the question and we'll find the values of x. So here we are having two limits which is t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1. And we have got our equation for t which is 0.5x plus 0.5. We'll just place the value of t in this equation. So it will be 0 is equal to 0.5x plus 0.5. So 0 minus 0.5 will minus 0.5 and this is x by 2. So it will be x is equal to minus 2 into 0.5. So we got x as minus 1. Now when t is equal to 1, let's find the value of x. So here again we'll place 1 in this equation. 1 is equal to 0.5x plus 0.5. 1 minus 0 0.5 will be 0 0.5 which will be equal to 0.5x. So we get our x as 1. Now we'll have to replace all of the values in the given question. That is in place of t it will be 0.5x plus 0.5 which we can write it as x by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to x plus 1 by 2 and dt is equal to dx by 2. So now we'll just rewrite this that is integration of dt upon 1 plus t from 0 to 1 will now become integration from minus 1 to 1 dx upon 2 in the bracket 1 plus in place of t it will be x plus 1 by 2. Now we'll just take the LCM taking 1 by 2 common so it will be dx upon 1 into 2 that is 2 plus opening the bracket so we get it as 2 plus x plus 1 whole divided by 2. Now this 2 will go up so it will be 2 into dx divided by x plus 3. Here again 2, 2 will get cut. So we are left with integration of 1 upon x plus 3 dx from minus 1 to 1. So after performing all of these steps, once we have got our limits from minus 1 to 1, we can use the 1 point Gaussian quadrature formula, which is integration from minus 1 to 1 f of x dx is equal to 2 into f of 0. Here our f of x is 1 upon x plus 3. All we need to do is we just have to place 0 in place of x. So it will become 2 into 1 upon 0 plus 3. That is we got our answer as 2 by 3 which is 0 0.6667. Now we'll solve the same thing using the two-point Gaussian quadrature formula. Now the two-point Gaussian quadrature formula is integration from minus 1 to 1 f of x dx is equal to f of minus 1 by root 3 plus f of 1 by root 3. So it would be pretty much clear to you that we have to place minus 1 by root 3 in place of x and in the next one we have to place 1 by root 3 in place of x. So now we'll write this as 1 upon 
माइनस वन बाय रूट थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस वन अपॉन वन बाय रूट थ्री प्लस थ्री ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस we get the answer as 0.6923 now let's solve another example using the three point gaussian quadrature formula so here we have integration e raised to x dx from 0 to 1 with n equal to 3 it can even be asked like this Evaluate by using Gaussian quadrature formula with n equal to three, which means that you need to solve it using the three-point Gaussian quadrature formula. Here again, we are having the limits from zero to one, so we'll change it. Here, as we have x, so we'll use x is equal to b minus a by two into t plus b plus a by two. So this will be. One minus zero by two into t plus one plus zero by two. That is, it will be one by two into t plus t by two, which we can write it as t plus one by two, taking the LCM common. Now we'll derivate this with respect to t. So it will be. One by two, that is dx is equal to one by two into dt. Now we'll find the values of t. So when x is equal to zero, we'll place the value in this equation. X is equal to t plus one by two, so it will be zero is equal to t plus one by two. Two into zero is zero, so it will be t plus one is equal to zero. That is, we'll get t is equal to minus one. When we place one, it will be one is equal to t plus one by two, so we'll get it as t is equal to one. We have got our limits. So again, we'll write this as integration from minus one to one. Now, in place of x, it will be t plus one by two, and in place of dx, it will be dt by two. The three-point Gaussian quadrature formula is integration f of x dx from minus one to one is equal to five by nine f of Minus root three by five plus eight by nine f of zero plus five by nine f of root three by five. Now here, our f of x will be e raised to t plus one by two. So now it will be. One by two, we'll take it as common, and here we'll put the formula, which is five by nine into f of minus root three by five, plus eight by nine into f of zero, plus five by nine into f of root three by five. Again, the rule is same that here we'll place. Minus root three by five in place of t, then we'll place zero in place of t, and then we'll place root three by five in place of t. Let me just show you. It will be e raised to minus root three by five plus one by two. So we'll write it as equal to one by two into five by nine into. E raised to minus root three by five plus one whole divided by two, plus eight by nine into e raised to. In place of t, it will be zero, so zero plus one by two. Plus five by nine, again here in place of t, it will be root three by five. 
1 plus root 3 by 5 upon 2. So it will be equal to 1 by 2 into on solving this first one we get 0 0.6218. Plus 1.465 plus 1.3491, which will be equal to 1.718. So, this is how you can solve the questions using the 1.2 point and 3 point Gaussian quadrature formulas. You'll find my notes on my website. The link to my website is in description. Thank you.